Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Yuansha Let's Play. We continue for episode 11 from turn 58 in the winter season of 201. So, last time we ended our episode as we are wrapping up our fight with Wang Quan. Uh, we sort of ignored Liu Bao's approaching armies, seven of them. Um, they're going to probably retake some of these farmlands, and that's fine. We could do a couple things with them. We could actually demolish things if we really want the cash, which I don't really think we need. We're just buying time for this army to heal up a bit. We need about three turns. Uh, they will fully muster up once they come back, so not too concerned. We can even move next turn because no one's actually mustering. Over here, I think we're going to make the call and not attack Yuan Shu right now because we have too much on our plate. We want to finish up Zhang Yan first, which means we can maybe do this diplomatically. We want to buy the piece of land he has. It's not going to come cheap. It's winter. We have a lot of food, so that's encouraging. Uh, we're not going to give him any of our land because we don't have anything that borders him that we want to give up. If he actually had this pass, we could just give him this farmland we're about to lose, but that is not the case. So, what we're going to do is give him legitimacy, which doesn't cost us anything, theoretically. Uh, people hate him, people's going to hate us, but people already hate us, so it's fine. Uh, I don't think coalition is that bad, so we could probably get into a coalition with him, and that kind of prevents us from fighting him. That's the only thing that I kind of worry about here. So maybe if we don't need that, we just don't go for that. We do a little bit of food offering. He is very poor in food. So if we look at the costs, 2.5 means he's in the negative. We're only getting 0.5 per bump, which means he's only negative one. Uh, but still, we can go all the way up to 11 in this case, I believe. Oh, 10. Okay, so all the way up to 10. Um, that means he starts at zero instead of negative one. It's interesting. Maybe, maybe at 10 it drops to 0.1. Not sure about that, but we're going to give him 10 food, which is a sizable chunk, but we can probably raise our taxes a little bit, which will also help our income, which is currently negative, but we do have one open trade slot and we have also one trade turned down. I think this is a Han issue, not our issue. Uh, we'll try to fix that. And aside from that... What else can we do? 8.7. I don't really want to pay him cash, but I'm okay with giving him items. We have a bunch of things we are probably not going to use. Bronze tier weapons. And... I don't think we need this one. I think this one has a set bonus on it, but this one does not. And then maybe a bronze horse. That's more than enough. Right, we're in the positive with him. We can maybe lower two food and give him a little bit of cash. Just a little bit. And then we'll, oh, we can't. There we go. That evens things out. And we'll pick up the land, essentially without fighting him. Can't say for free. Now, who can we trade with? I'm sure there's a trade partner. Okay, all the way down south. So this is in Nanhai. He's all the way, all the way, all the way over here. And we can trade with him, but not the Hun, which means the Hun's under attack. There's a good chance that the Hun might lose that not settlement if they're under attack. And if that's the case, then we are not going to get tea from them, and that complicates a lot of things. But we'll worry about that later. We wish them the best, but not very dependable. Most likely, it's Sun Tzu attacking him. All right, we pick up the trade income plus a little bit of diplomacy income. Aside from that, Taoying's coming close. Maybe we got to smash another army of theirs. So into a military access. I mean, the food is about to expire next turn. We should actually come back to him next turn to do this. We got to remember. Yeah, these are not essential. Pretty sure if we try to use our brother as a diplomatic situation where we become his vassal to get peace deals, people will just declare war on, on both of us. Chugong. So he is MTU, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's also been a change to the mod load order. We actually didn't mention this. 
I shifted the TUP mod to the second position because it seems like the TUP portrait were not getting picked up. I recorded a bunch of episodes ahead of time uh, before I went on vacation for Thanksgiving and people were saying that the TUP models were not coming through. I'm suspecting that's the load water issue with the mod that fixes the 3D models. And now I shifted it, I think it fixed everything, uh, but it'll be reflected in the description below in case you don't know what we're talking about. He does not have unique units. He has fire unit access. He also gets bonus in a duel. He's level seven. He's sort of special. His injury trait is actually pretty good. I'm, I have to say I'm tempted. It's very cheap for us to pick him up. His salary, basically, since he is going to be a grab. Oh, he's a spy. He's a spy. He does carry two items, so we're, we're going to recruit him. And we're going to empty out his inventory. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. Got ourselves a nice silver weapon. Taishan batters? Just because they got a club? What is this, baseball? Okay, some interesting abilities and whatnot. But yeah, most likely a spy for Shonxian. It, it's possible he's not, but there's no reason why we should risk it. I can chase him away and then hope he comes back later. No hard feelings here. Zamba leveled up. He's our heir. There are unfortunately not many things he can do for us. Um, maybe I have him do reward the villainous and corrupt. It's a satisfaction boost but drops corruption. Which I guess is not great. We could do scattering blow. That's actually pretty good. Interesting. Because, well, that one doesn't target units, so I guess it doesn't benefit. Oh, that's a good way to uh, counteract the effects. But perhaps it's better to just get the campaign movement in case we want to use him as a general in the future. He's still very young. We don't have to rush him onto the field. All right. Buildings, buildings. Looks like our public order is mostly fine. Local force is something we can't really control. But aside from local force, it looks like we can get away with a little bit of a tax bump. That puts us at a respectable level of income. We have this siege going on. We really do want to break it, but the problem is we're really far. And if we do this... Okay, we only grab one group. That's good. So let's pull it out. We won't be fighting both. So I think this way... First, we're testing reinforcement distance, which is doubled for our faction. So do we pull that group in? We do. Okay, great. So yeah, definitely farther than the circle of influence, but we do pull them in. And we start our first fight here against them. Um, it's a sally out fight in the open field. We don't have any siege weapons. They also don't have any siege weapons. We have Dayan Veterans, which seems to have a losing bonus. Do or die. Okay, it's so a lose defense for offense. They have a mobile shield wall. They have missile resistance. Oh, they're pretty interesting. Wondering Artisans. It looks like a crossbow, but... They're telling me something else. Okay, it's just a grenade. Okay, alright. I mean, just a grenade. Pretty boring army, all things considered. The only thing I might want to consider is spending some lineage on this group. We can give them Unbreakable, 150. I'm thinking about stock as well. Unbreakable, definitely. And stock, I guess, because the cavalry coming from behind would be very good. And speaking of coming from behind, I think we take this. And that's it. Kaija. Could I squeeze out a bit more? I could. I could summon 
a couple of generals and get some lineage just for the summon. We also need to colonize this, so that's not something that's against what we want to do. We pick up 10 per summon and we can get three. It will cost us because we have all these generals with... Wait, she in the recruitment pool? Or did we grab her because we're collecting wives? I cannot recall. Okay, we grabbed her because we're collecting wives. And she has hidden spear, which makes sense. Um, hmm, we could grab her as well. Guess we'll just... We'll just pay for them, I guess? Her renew can't be that expensive. Born change. Oh, but she has, she has fun units that we don't want to disband forever, so we're going to have to just hog that price. We also have this Burn General, which we can launch next to... Hold on, can we get them here? Good. We still want this fight. I guess we can give them the help. Our Burn Officer. Right, we got our lineage up to 35. That way we can get 30 for the charge bonus. Yeah, sounds good. Trying to give our army some bonuses before we head into war. Alright. First fight, lift the siege. Oh, he has a weapon, right? Yeah, we don't have to give him anything. We do outnumber them, and if we could sneak the cavalry up against this group and just wipe out their range and their grenades, it should definitely even the odds. We have to pull these units way back towards the reinforcement. And after beating them, I'm guessing we can probably get a peace deal with... Oh, I guess guerrilla deployment's a waste because they're not actually guerrilla... they're not deploying here. Right, they're not invisible, they just happen to be far away. They are invisible. This town's probably a good position to hold, because it actually protects one of our flanks. They're, they're somewhere over here. I don't know if they marched up or not. They don't have to march up, that's the thing. I will right, we'll scout with our stock invisible cavalry. We're also unbreakable. Oh, we found some. Okay. We need to find where their archers are. Okay, it looks like there's going to be a tilt. They're also invisible. He's firing at our units. Okay, that's fine. You can see some of our garrison dying. Okay, if the general's gonna use his bow like that, we'll take it. And they didn't capture it or burn it down. I'm pretty sure we're doing damage to them as well. Is there a trail of dead bodies on the snow? That are those dead bodies? Can't really tell. Ooh, can you guys get into position? 
Alright, we should have some cover fire soon. Uh, we'll be initiating those. Oh, she has what? Rival plus close relative? Okay, so at least the relative is the weak one who's a strategist and won't get anything. And the rival will actually lose that bonus once we do start it. I'm gonna tilt these units back a little. We'll appear from behind. Our target is this group right here, but they're protected by infantry. We're gonna just hover until the infantry commit to the charge, and then we'll do our thing. Are their cavalry's beat? That's a explosive group. It's another explosive group. I think they're exposed enough. I think we can give the charge right here. We have to try to make it efficient. And we have killed the lady over there. Could we get another fight? No, we cannot. Can we get back on our horse? Alright, we're going to curl this way to where they're running. That's fine. This collision's good. We're hurting them out. Away from that group. You can crash into that. It's fine. They bumped into them without realizing it. Alright, time to send our guys up. Charge. Charge. Alright, shore that up. We'll charge here, we'll charge here, we'll charge here. We don't have enough cavalry for the number of units they have, but if we switch targets on and off fast enough, we should be able to take care of everything. What are you doing? Do not be fighting the units. Not really your job. Are you chase over here? Collide right back into their units. Come back, come back. Yeah, our cavalry will fight to the death, so we'll let them fight to the death. Yeah, he's dragging two away with him, which is great. Let's see if we can come pick that up. I don't think I saw any grenades on the field. I think we were able to avoid that. Alright, keep him occupied. There's enough infantry here to take care of everything. And so, oh, can we charge that group out? And you charge there, you charge there. You grab that one, you grab that one. Alright, efficient. Switch target. Actually, why don't you come over here? You stay there. Finish this group up. Huh, Wisdom River. It's not going to do much. We can stop chasing over here. Oh no, I didn't mean to pull you. Oh, he has a losing bonus activated. Doesn't really matter, I think. I don't really care about the garrison staying alive or not either, even though there's a yellow turban group nearby. Looks like we've got the army loss. We're not going to chase too much. We'll take the win.
we do not have the movement to fight the yellow turbans, but if this army wouldn't initiate the fight right away, I don't think the yellow turban would, even though I guess we're close enough to reinforcement range anyways, it wouldn't really matter. Ooh, losing Imperial favors, not fun. We'll take 13 points, in. but it's, it's for the garrison, it's not for us. What can we get here? Well, we don't really have cavalry under my command because we have this unique unit that's not a cavalry. Flame the Phoenix is general only. I feel like this is better. Both of these are pretty darn good. Damage plus 25% 25, 25 melee attacks for myself. And then we'll get this for the unit afterwards. Regardless, very good stuff. Um... He's strong, right? He's strong. That group that came out of Bohai over there. We're in reinforcement range. I suspect he has night battle. Okay, so that changes how we're going to approach this. We're going to march. We'll sit inside, keep it safe. We have lost the coast. We have double ambushed here on our own territory because we have to beat Nobel's army little by little while we can heal during end turns. So I think we're going to just pretty much stick on our own territory for the most of this. This is going to get sieged during the end turn. He can come. He's going to suicide because he has no land. So he shouldn't siege. He should just fight and die, which is how we want it. We're going to move down, wipe out Zhang Yan's group, get ourselves a administrator here. See if we can buy this piece of land. It might be very expensive. And we, we just might not have what it takes. Oh, it's about the same. What if we do this? What if we give him what he wants? We'll do a coalition. Like, the only person he's at war with that we're not... Sun Ce, who's really far away from us. Liu Yan. Oh, we got our trade back. Great. Wait, so it was us? It was not them? We were the problem? Interesting. Liu Yan, which is also really far. Ma Teng. Oh, we're not going to get dragged into those wars right away. That's the other thing. 15 points, though. That's that's something. I need to check out my items to see if they actually have set bonuses or not. Yeah, we kept the right robe. And I guess we can get rid of nobleman's le leather as well. It would be nice if we don't have to give him too much, but if we want free land, and he does have an army there, don't really want to fight him. We'll give him some money. Not that much in the grand scheme of things. Three and change. Can we lower it a little bit? Okay, we'll take that. Now there's a chance he takes this. There's that chance. He doesn't have siege weapons, right? He doesn't. Okay, so he can't take it right away. Let's see what he does. I mean, he could have taken it regardless if we traded or not, so it's not any different. I've got to convert that. She can be recalled. I don't want to pay for that upkeep. He can go try to grab that building for us later on once we have some cash. That's going to be a fight. Amber said over here. We cleaned up the fight here. Both of them. Well, this one's weak. This one's not weak. And potentially we can end one war. It's going to take him another turn, and he's probably going to come to the realization he's not winning. So we're going to hope for that. We try to secure a trade deal with Sun Ce next turn. Oh, this roster is interesting because we have vision of their armies. And guess who has what? Tong has his father's horse, has his uncle's bow, which we can get when we summon him back. 
and Liang Xing has Cao Cao's sword. So if we summon both of them back, we get Cao Cao's gear, which is what we want. So let's extract Spy. I know he's the leader, but they're already in a civil war. There's no character that we really want here, so there's no reason why we keep him out in action. The only problem here is he's going to have to wait till next turn, or oh, maybe even more than next turn. Okay, so we're going to do this first. So next turn he can come back, and we'll be able... I should have had him use... Oh, he couldn't. Not enough. The points were just not enough. That's fine. Also, our sword isn't going anywhere. Oh, maybe it's going to go to the new leader. Oh no, the order was wrong. I mean, it's kind of late to fix it. He might get unequipped, depending on who becomes leader. Because most characters could equip that sword. We'll, we'll check before we pull him back. Maybe we keep him there for a little bit. Yeah, that's my bad. Um... We don't have too much money, but there's still income coming in, so I'm not too scared. Taiyuan's making the most, thanks to Guojia. Um, no real significant way to boost that income. Pingyuan's not very safe if we want more foreign units. I also happen... Oh, right, this is an event. We gotta fix those. I don't have money for that. Alright, I guess that's where our cash is going. Uh, this is a tax building. Selling food is okay, because we have a lot of food. Uh, another thing that we have going on is we did pick up this item. Oh, we were offered an item, right, for the Sogoda units. And the Sogoda units are straight broken. And if we can get that in the future, we'll get that. Anyways, I think that's all we have to do here. Let's continue and see what happens here, what happens here, and what happens here. And also what happens there. It's very busy on our side of the map. Come on, don't take baby steps. Oh my god, they're reinforcing each other for the, for the ambush fight. And we don't have... Oh! They didn't... They baby stepped these two armies, yet yeah, they didn't walk enough to get into range. Okay. Um, look at these. Look at these. J Dragons. Elite Guards of 8 Talent. Oh, they're doing the Ba Chu, or often translated as the 8 Cooks, which is what Liu Bell was known for as youth. A better translation is 8 Talents. 8 Scholars, essentially. Wow, he's loaded. I wonder how much land he has in the south. Like, how does he have an army like this? Compared to this, we have, like... I, I don't want to say trash, but... <laughs> uh, it's an ambush, though. Uh, I don't actually really want to fight this ambush, because it's going to be kind of weird fighting into this. When we also have cavalry that's going to be running down at him. And then our trebuchet is going to be really awkward as well with the distance. And the reinforcement army don't really show up. So this strength here is really good on paper. But it's a three minute delay, and we essentially are fighting one on one if we actually do fight it. But if we delegate, it's sort of a two on one type of math situation going on with the system. Yeah, we really don't want to take much damages there. Man, that's a scary group. Could we hire you? Because we're essentially stripping away all these units. That's what we have to do. That's the only way we can remove him from the map. That's a lot of money. That's that's a loaded army. Right? Quality of the, the, the upkeep and the cost of the army is what determines. Yep, here they come. This is the fight that we're worried about. The secondary fights. But this one's not an uh, ambush. So our tribuches should come into play. Our reinforcements should come into play. This is the fight that we actually want to fight. Oh, I mean, they have really fancy units, but they have really poor generals. They still outnumber us by about a thousand units. 
And the quality of their units are good. All elite unit here are these, these guys right here. Tier 3. Tier 2. Not that our army isn't good. Just he has a special one. That army is all cavalry. So it's actually good that we have this army as the initial fight. Oh, our general delegated really poorly. That's fine. We'll deal with it. They can sort of function as semi front line. And we'll front line for them here. There's too few of them, but we can probably still hide them and kind of flank later. We'll bring them back over here. Unfortunately, we don't have the recovery skill. Show up. We'll go harass with these. They don't have 360 firing, or do they? Oh, they do. That's wonderful. Jungle is still pretty healthy. Allies weakness. We'll just get the bow going. We have some more. I'm going to keep them in reserve. We might use some of their suppression shots, actually. Couple invisible spear. I don't think they have stock yet. We didn't upgrade that. Kind of just put them off to the side. Actually, throw these guys over here. Oh, they don't have 360 shooting. Do they have 360 shooting? Oh, yes, they do. Right, actually, you guys just move up. Plenty of ammo. Let's go. One sixty range. We don't outrange their units. We're just going to pull to the side. We're going to let them walk into us. They're going to take some time gather up their units. So a small group coming out of here for a flank. That's too far. I think they can actually just come here. Mm, invisible spears. Actually, go, go behind the trebuchet because I'm pretty sure they're going to try to hard flank us. Unless the shots are really bad, I don't think we're going to be manually shooting them. Too much effort. Oh, Kingmaker. I mean, that's good. Alright, they don't have range unit on this side. We're going to go harass. Surprising for so many strategists. One, two, three, four, five, six. They don't have a lot of range units. Here comes our arrows. We're just going to do a pass through here. Shoot some of their units off to the side. Yeah, 
it. They're going to hug their... They also don't have cavalry. Right. Hmm, interesting. Those are our rocks. Okay, hitting that front. Very good, very good. Alright, we drew their attention. Ultimately, we want to get into their back line. This is never going to do that much damage. We can get a charge down there, perhaps. Maybe they can get behind. They have pretty decent charge capabilities. having a hard time getting it killed in the snow. It's like rain, but snow. Hmm. Alright, let me grab one of them. Oh, we didn't. Oh, let's boost it. It's not too late. Alright, we can charge now. Filter through. Ah, the problem is I don't have time to micro this one. To keep changing their targets. Alright, there's no flank coming. Our front line's not gonna hold here. The quality is just too different. But it's okay, we'll try our best, and then we'll also have this in reserve. They will clearly have two waves. Alright, we smash into it, but the reinforcement's right behind. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Their crossbowmen beat us? Wow. It's okay, we'll keep harassing. We'll do what we can. Finish this quickly so we can pull them to the side. What we're pursuing here. Yeah, quickly kill that. Flank over. Nice, nice, nice. See if you guys can get these from behind, even though it's not going to be easy killing them with their cow. Maybe over here, that, that bump. Ah, he killed himself. All right, we'll kill this quickly. So before that wave hit, we want to eliminate this wave that's on our wall or on our shield wall over here. This is probably going to break. Yeah, but their their yeah their unit broke. Good, good, good. How do we peel here? How does it looking? Some of these cavalry are kind of stuck. There's no good targets to charge to. Maybe this one here. 
guess the goal is just to peel. Hold. One, move out, you go here, try to kill one of these that has no relationship. Kill them back. Reform the line here. Archer turn, now you guys are footmen in the front. Peel back, peel back. Not gonna use our generals just yet. Alright, pick on that. Get our cavalry rounded out. She has no relationship either, kill her. Send this at this. We peel this off. Alright, we need to loop around. Can't fight there. We can probably fight here. Alright, you chase them away. Alright, they're done as well. Tribuchet used up all their... Peel back a little bit. Cavalry come over here and fight the generals. Yeah, a lot of our cavalry are doing the fighting now, which is not ideal. We can do the chase. We can do the chase. You and you, relatively healthy. Go kill some generals. Just need to reset them. Yeah, we're going to sacrifice some of our cavalry over here. Don't have a lot of options here. Alright, nice. We kill another one. Go around. Kill off the generals. Shoot into these. Not gonna pull the cavalry back, but if they do have range, we're gonna let the range do the job for now. Where's Kingmaker? Is Kingmaker infinite range? Oh yeah, he can be anywhere he wants. Guess he shouldn't be fighting. Oh no, he can be fighting. Chase. Come back, come back. Chase another target. This gotta be another fragile target. Try and get busy. Yeah, we're gonna sacrifice that group. Body up here, they're out of ammo. Shoot at those spear units. I'm gonna find a target where we can actually charge. Here's one. I killed the other one here. Pull that back. We got it. Whew. We're decimated too. But at least we're on our own territory. And we should get a nice little heal. We fought, what, four stacks? There was one that we delegated, and now these three. We'll try to employ as many as we can capture and hopefully reduce their number on the field. Look at Xun Yu go. Oh, Xun Yu. Yeah, definitely a good casualty ratio here. If we can't employ, I think it's 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 the daughter. It's better to release. We we'll take replenishment for this one. It's not much money, anyways. All right, they're about lost four armies here, or at least got four crippled. He has, he has five stacks. 
including a fresh one that's about to cross, but the four that crossed are all kind of wiped. Altan has two weak army in the middle. He did not go for the siege, which was his mistake. He went for the army. So we go for the siege, and then he can't really get the land anymore. He can still get the pass, but if he gets the pass, I'll let him live. He's our coalition partner. All right, Wang Quan's army suicide. We do not win this by delegate, because he got Liu Biao. Oh my god. This was unexpected. Liu Biao got close enough to reinforce, and they're in the same coalition. Oh, wow. Um, it's not guaranteed defeat, because if we can wipe them out before reinforcement comes... Oh, it's like 40 seconds. I don't know if we can do that. Hmm, bummer. Didn't think about the reinforcement move. I thought for sure Liu Bao was going to go down to Shandong's other farmland and take it. Which didn't happen. He just marched up. He just marched up. Okay, we need to kill this group. Who can, who can be here? Who who has guerrilla deployment? That's all we have. It's not enough. But like, that's a desperation play, right? Because this group is coming in, I don't know how long, but I'm assuming very, very quickly. And then our only hope is to kill this group. There's no retreat for us because we are in a garrison. Okay, you guys and me, we're one. We're charging in as soon as we can. And we have to avoid the numerous wooden spike. Oh, can we lit those? Hold on. You guys cross over here. You guys cross over here. Let the other one. Come on, move up, move up, move up. I don't know when the enemy reinforcements are coming. I actually don't care at this point. We are gonna try our best to wipe this group out. Quickly as quickly as possible. Come on, come on, come on. I know she healed, but that's fine. We had to kill him. We have to kill everyone here. Our cavalry suicided into the fire, which we cannot control. Army loss? Army loss? Please? Start turning around. Gotta, gotta play defense this way now. Got another cavalry, which we did not utilize. I mean, the wooden spike hits the same for anyone's cavalry, so we're gonna just try to let them hit their cavalry. I'm guessing they're on the map. I don't see a reinforcement symbol, so uh, we're not finishing this battle. We are on defense, so technically we just keep running? 38 minute? That's kind of ambitious. Wait, maybe Liu Bao re refused to show up. Uh, I doubt it, though. It's been a while. Uh, but, as you can see, they have all routed, but we have not won. So, yeah, it's not happening. Alright, that brings us to our final strategy of corner camping. As we shall drag this army to the corner of the map and pray that Liu Bao does not find us or is so slow at finding us that we will have time to drag this battle out to the end of time.
I mean, now we just wait. I mean, they have not even caught up to our siege weapon. How slow can they be? They showed up over here. Ages ago. Do siege, wep oh, siege weapons do not break wooden sticks? Okay. You would think their mass might have something to do with it. I mean, now it's just a 10 minute torture of a wait. My boys, get closer. I can heal all of you guys. Got the power. Oh, unbreakable. Hold on. We're not putting our eggs in one basket. We're just waiting it out. We got our boy running all the way to the other corner. And if all goes terribly, we have him who will not break and uh, essentially buy time because they have to take out all of us here and then walk all the way over there, which they'll never have time to do. Especially in the slow, where it's movement slow. Alright, so what's our what's our take on whether the bell show up or not? I don't think he will. We'll make them stalk and snipe as well. Literally the only thing I mean they're visible. They see them, right? They're visible. They're just not where are they? I'm guessing they march to be in reinforcement range. Which means they're fatigued. They walk slower. Snow makes you walk slower too. But this is, I mean, can you be slower than a seed weapon? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna fast forward till we get some action. Or if we don't get any action, then we'll just fast forward to the end of the battle because nothing's going on right now. So we'll see what happens. And I spoke too soon. Take it back. Leo Bell has shown up. We are going to get a fight. He's using his bow to try to snipe some of our guys. And he's doing a good job. Look at that. He killed two. Heal three. Not bad for an old man. Four. Five. Did he one shot two people? Six? Seven? That's quite the army. Is that your son? Oh no! Wait, Yuan Yi? That's an uncle. That's 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 my uncle. We're gonna need that egg in the other basket right here. Be brave, my boys. Be brave. The old geezer of Xiangyang is here. He's run out of shots. And their man never learned how to march. Look at this. The laggards. It is a good time to look at Liu Bao's army. I want to see the other eight talent units. Not those. Not those. Did none of their cavalry? Oh, this group bump into some of the wooden stake. Thirty nine left. Only I only see the D guards. I don't see any of the, the other the other type of units. I guess they don't have any of those. All right, you have walked into the safety of our crossbow units. Keep walking, you'll get there eventually. Did he use his morale? Yep, he did. Warning shot. Uh-oh. We're not getting here, are we? Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're catching up. 
Alright, our units are finally shooting as well. They juked us. Other corner, other corner. Full opposite map. There we go. That counts as two. Man and a horse. Nice. They moved, but we still got a few kills. Looks like Tribuchet is going to make it. Alright, let's see how many of these will take. These, there's 10. I'm guessing without the machines. Oh no. Oh no. I was going to say most of them are going to make it back. Okay, I guess that's just a reloading thing. Yeah, this is our trump card. The unbreakable, invisible, retinue that ensures we don't lose any defensive battles. Well, Nobel's movement surprised us. That's for real. There we go. That That's where we want to shoot. They stopped moving, though, right before we hit them. We don't have too many tricks up our sleeves, but whatever we have, we're gonna use. They're not charging. They sent two things to prod. And those two things are about to die. We're about to run out of ammo on these guys, though. We at least wipe out this group too. Super annoying. There we go. Densely packed crossbow units. Oh, our tribuchet is in position. Man, they reload really fast, don't they? It feels like they're reloading pretty fast. We're gonna be out of ammo very, very soon. Yeah, we even took about five, six minutes to get across. For infantry that has to march together, it's gonna take forever. We could have waited till the charge, but I think it's fine. We get a little bit of heal going on right now. 25 kill, not that many. Oh, so close.
Nice. Guess not sending their cavalry is smart because we have a line of spear. There's a couple weak spots. It's not going for it. Hmm, it's hard to hit those. This is probably the densest place. I wonder if we should try to go after him. We have a decent weapon. We can also stay here for the distant courage bonus. Alright, good luck, boys. Oh, that rock almost rolled into them. Just need to hit something here, it'd be perfect. Yeah, we'll take that. Except for right here, be better. Perfect. I mean, maybe we can actually hold legitly. For the full 40. Unlikely. Got two more shots. They're almost knocked out, actually. I'll go for this for the last shot. Yeah, maybe this. Maybe this. This is probably better. It's a very bad angle for the archers. Oh, that rock came a little short. That's a good one. Another one? We have one more, right? Yeah, we have one more. Let's go. Go, go. Where's that rock? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, hit the tree. Okay. Alright, you're now infantry. Charge. The center held. We're distant courage. Bonus. Let's go a little bit centered here. Mm, they're gonna bounce back. We're not gonna get super adventurous yet. This is perfect. We get all the morale bonuses. Try to go for a flank with these not so useful units. Literally has one guy. I mean, he's drawing a lot of volleys. I mean, this is kind of our only way of beating them is by flanking them. Yep. As you can see over here as well. Here comes the cavalry though. That's a big problem. Can we get a line over here? Behind this. 
who's in the spear wall. If we can just pull them behind, let them run to the spear wall. We're also close enough to the edge of the map that we can probably force a lot of them to just route into the edge. They're out of ammo too. Alright, they stopped the charge because we peeled it. Okay, that's good. Stay. Fight. Crossbow versus crossbow. We have better quality ones, I think. Help kill them faster. Oh, you guys do not need to be in this slow mode. Here they come. They didn't, they charge into their own units. It's a terrible decision. Wipe this out. I'm still not going to summon back my cavalry. I don't think it's going to make four units. not going to make a big difference. But the fact they were unbreakable is going to make a big difference. I need this group to win quick. So I can flank the cavalry. Nice, nice, nice. Another unit beaten out. Keep squeezing. The quality is dropping. These are just Buchu. Chase them out, flank farther, flank farther. Oh, they're attacking me to stop my bonus. Um, reduction of fatigue, increasing melee, it's, it's really good, I, I can't let them drop that, so no. Fight that, fight that, fight into it. Okay, it's okay. There's nothing to cool down, drop. Come on, route that group. Okay, they win that, no problem. Just peel two guys to get them off from shooting us. Okay, their morale is also dropping. I don't think I'm gonna pull that. The evasion bonus is nice. There's only two of them. Let's just go. Charge into that. Right, this way we get them chasing. That's routed. One of the cavalry took some damage. They won. Go over here. Kill off the range units. You fight the cavalry. They'll bounce back, but it's fine. All the bonuses. A new flanking angle here. Just chase. Very little unit chasing, it's all good. Get the cavalry. Come on, win this side. You guys have so many spear units hogging it. Chain route, chain route, chain route. Nope, not routing. Yeah, if they stand and fight, they play beat us. Okay, kill off this group. Ignore the generals for now. I'm probably healthy enough to kill the generals. All right, we won on this side as well. You stand on him. Who, who's who's this group right here? You on him. Hmm, that's a lot of cavalry. We need to peel these group over. Don't be so stubborn. Join the fight. Okay, if they're peeling the... We're not going to chase. Charge. Get yeah, flank those. Flank those. Make sure we're not in combat. Yeah, make sure we're not in combat. Our bonus. Oh, you're flanking us. Ouch. 
Oh, he picked the wrong fight, I think. Yeah, we have a bunch of spear. Chase him off. Two spear, fight cavalry. Kill the unit, kill the unit. Generals are fine. Nice. Army loss kicking in? We don't actually want to kill any of them. The relationship. Oh, we can kill him. Uh, hurt him a little. How do we kill this guy? Mm, killing him doesn't really help us. Routing this might help us. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna fight. I know I'm getting rid of the bonus, but it's, it's not great. Hold on, can we peel off and then get the bonus back? Yeah, there we go. Just wanna get that unit routed. <laughs> Try to fight that off. Try to fight that off. There we go. Army loss kicking in. No. Here, I'm going to join that fight. Escort them off the field. Get them routed quickly. There we go. There we go. Escort them off. He's already got dismounted, so he can never catch me. All right, you guys fight him. I'm going to escort him off the field because I got the horse. Chase them away. Our one guy escorting 33 off the field. Go join the fights. Oh, did they find us? Oh, they have a siege weapon. Is it worth going after? No, it's not. It's not worth the risk. It's fine. We'll escort them off. Nobel is routing, sort of? Nope. Do we have to kill him? I don't want to kill him. He's not going to route, is he? Two, yeah, he's not going to route. Oh, maybe. Negative 11 right there. He's gone, he's gone. We're not gonna kill. We're gonna let him route. And then we kill him. Let him army loss. Uh, I guess I'll stay and help with the boost. Just a little bit extra melee evasion, see what we can do. Might be my uncle, but who cares? We can't catch him. Do not bounce back. Gonna be close. Ah, he's gone. Here, we're gonna try to kill him. One on one, him with a ceremonial sword versus me with a gold one. I, I think we can win that. It'd be even better if they dismount him here. That'd be beautiful. Okay, well, we'll, sp we'll spare our family. There's more models for him to fight, so he's not going to target me. I could technically dismount for more damage. Is he going to come back? No, he's not. Alright, we're going to dismount. We don't have the, the, the familial conflict, or else we can just whack him down super fast. But this is still much faster than on the horse. Look at us. Look at his health. He's busy fighting the other infantry models. And he's gonna die like an old man. Wow, we won. We have two people left. Plus, we have six people left. He's also unbreakable. Yeah. Uh, there's. I think the archer didn't route yet, which is why we haven't won. I wanna win. I don't wanna tie now. Hold on, gotta find him. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Don't time out. Let us win. No army loss? I, I mean, we only have six people. I guess it makes sense. There's no army loss. Charge, charge, charge. We got no time. Route. Take some damage. Route. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a draw. We won that. We won that.
，你掀起狂风，枝上花瓣悉数离落。汉族。Alrighty, what I thought was going to be a very boring fight turned out to be quite the exciting one. We're going to be taking replenishment here. Round two. Round two will be next episode. Uh, we got some of this unit back with a 10% replenishment, but we're still unnumbered. Okay, at least Wondrel's not here. I don't like our chances, but we'll see what happens next time. So until then, bye!